Welcome to another RSR. Tonight we are recapping the 2022 MLS Cup Playoffs Conference Semifinals and predicting the 2022 Conference Finals. Tell you how many predictions I got right in the Conference Semis. Talk a little bit about each match in chronological order and then predict the Conference Finals and say what my predicted MLS Cup Final is at this point. We will start with Eastern Conference Semifinal 1. Philadelphia Union 1, FC Cincinnati 0. Philadelphia Union defensively played well. Offensively, definitely let Cincinnati have more of the ball. Cincinnati was playing the best game of their lives at this point. From their first match to last, the last match they played, it was the best match of their life. They played very well against the Union. The Union had to score a pretty good goal from Leon Flock to take the lead and hold on defensively they did enough to hold on Andre Blake of course as great as he normally is defensively they got the best defense in the league and Cincinnati definitely worked them over Cincinnati could be proud Philly did what they had to do hopefully they play better in the Eastern Conference Final there is a chance that New York does get it done we'll talk about that we know the results. We'll talk about that. But I got this prediction right. 1-0 and on my predictions. Then, the El Trafico. Western Conference Semifinal 1. LAFC 3. LA Galaxy 2. I got this one wrong. I had the upset in the West. I thought LA could do it. And honestly, they almost did. If their defense wasn't so horrible or so much of a car crash, they would have won. Three bad mistakes led to the three LAFC goals from Buwanga, two from Buwanga, one from Chicho Orongo. But if LAFC didn't get those gimmies pretty much, they would be out. Galaxy did play much better besides those three mistakes on the three goals they allowed. Jovalich, great goal, and... Granzier, Granzier scored those goals, but again, just a little bit too lax defensively, and they paid for it. Got that one wrong, one and one, one out of two on my predictions. Then Eastern Conference Semifinal 2, CF Montreal 1, NYCFC 3. I was wrong about this one, but I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about it. New York City FC go to Stad Saputo and dominate CF Montreal. And Montreal had chances to keep this closer or actually win this match. They weren't completely out of it. Great offensively. Defensively, two keeper mistakes, one defensive mistake. New York playing very well. Great offensive play. Morales scores. Hebert scores. And Santi Rodriguez scores. Yeah. But again... Three goals, three great goals. Jordi Mihaljevic also scored as well. But again, New York were the better team. They came into Montreal, said, we ain't scared to play at your house, and they won at Montreal's house. New York goes on, still has their repeat dreams, still alive. I got that one wrong. One and two. One out of three on my predictions. And finally, we got Western Conference Semifinal 2, Austin FC 2, Dallas 1, FC Dallas 1. Austin was the way better team. They were super dominant throughout the match. They were the stronger team. They were the better team. They were the more willful team. The only time Dallas really got into touching distance was when Velasco scored off the Alex Ring mistake, and they basically just let Dallas have the ball. In the match, they let Dallas have the ball said, we'll defend it, and they did. Great saves by Brad Stuver, man of the match. Hell, both goalkeepers were great throughout the night, Stuver and Poss. But I got this one right. Austin does what they have to do. They do the job. They find the way to win. Austin does the job. They find a way to win. A Copa Tejas semifinal, 2-1. to one. They go to the Eastern Western Conference Finals. Right about that. Two out of four of my predictions. Two and two on predictions for the conference semis. Not too bad, but not too great. But 
we'll do better in the conference finals. So now we will predict the conference finals, the Eastern Conference Final, which is the second conference final on Sunday, because they're playing West before East for some reason. I don't know why. You would think it's the other way around, but 2-7 ain't too bad. Philadelphia Union versus NYCFC at Subaru Park. I got Philly. I still think New York has a better chance right now than I did about a week ago if they got there. But I still think that Philly's the better football team. They're the better team. They have the better players. They're a lot more in tune with each other. They have a great system, and they're all great players. They're some of the best players in the league. Honestly, the best 11 at MLS should just be full of Philly players and maybe one or two other players here and there. Philly is just a better team. Now, if they play like they did against Cincy, they'll get upset. I'm not saying they. there's no chance. They play like they did against Cincy, New York's going to make them pay. They got a way better forward line than Cincy does. They got a way better midfield than Cincinnati does. Philly plays like they did on Thursday. Nah, they're done. They're done. But that's not what's going to happen. I think Philly will be better against New York. And I think the way New York plays lends to Philly being more allowed to go forward and the game's more open. And I think that's what's going to hurt New York. The game will be more open. Philly will be better. If you can't handle Philly at their worst, they'll be better. They won't be that way two games in a row. I got Philly going to the MLS Cup Final. Then finally, the Western Conference Final. LAFC versus Austin FC. Here's the upset. LAFC did not look good against LA Galaxy. And I guarantee you, they will not bring that same energy and fight and desire to this Western Conference Final. El Trafico... They were a lot more into that match than what they'll be into this match. It's just like the Seattle game in 2019. They loved playing El Trafico in the playoffs. Then they got to the Western Conference Final. Seattle wanted it more. And I see the same thing with Austin. This is a very similar situation, and I just see it playing out the same exact way. LA's not going to be better than they were last Thursday. No. Austin FC will be the better team. They'll be the better side. They will want it more than LAFC do, just like Seattle did in 2019. They will be absolutely drained, even though it's a 10-day break between matches. I still think mentally they'll be drained. They haven't played the best football besides that Galaxy match in two months. I don't know if Bale will be back, but I don't think that's the point. The point is... The football that they have played, the LA that LAFC have played, have not has not been good for two months. They were a lot better for the first five, six, five and a half months of the season. And there's a lot of splits. If you look at the first 24 games, amazing. The last eight, nine, not great. Just look at their splits. It's completely obvious. Austin has been a lot more consistent throughout the 34-game season and the two games of the playoffs. They've been a lot more consistent under Josh Wolf. They've been a lot stronger defensively and offensively. Yeah, they didn't win the West. They didn't win the Supporter Shield, but I don't think that matters. In the playoffs, it's 90 minutes, win or go home. They've already beat LAFC twice, LAFC twice, in the regular season. They beat them at Bank of California, which is where they're playing on Sunday. They beat them at Q2. And they're not really worried about a atmosphere like the 3252 because Q2 is just as good. So the home field advantage is not going to be a thing for LAFC. LAFC are going down to Austin. Austin will win the conference final. Simple as. I just don't see LAFC sacking up and being great in the conference final. El Trafico was their moment. They'll choke. As per. It's been coming. I thought it was going to be the conference semi, and it almost was. And they still were better than what I think they'll be in the conference final. Austin will have them and win. So my predicted MLS Cup in 2022 is Philadelphia Union versus Austin FC. Eastern 1 versus West 2 at Subaru Park, November 5th. 3 p.m. Central, Philly versus Austin is what I got. 
Had it the whole way through, and I still got it now. I don't think anything's changed my mind. Well, nothing has changed my mind to say LAFC will be the ones facing Philly in LA. I don't see it. Or Philly loses to New York. I do not see it. Nothing has changed my mind about that final. We will have Philly versus Austin. I'm sticking with it because that was my full bracket final. I'm sticking with it, and we'll see if I stick with a winner as well. But that could change. That comes out a day before the final, or maybe two. I, that may change, but I got to watch the two matches. So with that being said, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell your friends. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. Once subscribed, send super chats on the live streams. Comment on this video. Put some play. Share some friends and family. All that great stuff. I will see you tomorrow for a CONCACAF League final preview and prediction between Olympia, CD Olympia versus Alawalense. I will preview and predict that tie. Both legs. We're just going to do one prediction preview. Overall, what I think will happen through both ties, both legs, and my full prediction of the tournament, the final, the final champion of CONCACAF League. Should be a very interesting video. I will see you tomorrow for that. Hopefully, sorry to keep you a bit waiting here for this video, but life is life. So, Hopefully you enjoy this. It's a little bit later than I would have wanted it to be. But, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you tomorrow, and I'll see you on Wednesday. I'm Ron, and I'm out. Peace.